senior manager in the office of the public protector for Tana Tabele has come out to defend advocate Busasiu and Kobane's work ethic, describing her as a hard-working advocate for the people of South Africa. Tabele is testifying before Kobane's parliamentary inquiry, but refused to directly answer a question by the DA's Kevin Milam about the decline in the quality of reports under Milam. Tabele told the MPs that the quality of the reports produced under Mkwabane cannot be tested based on a few court judgments and that the increase of court reviews came as a result of institutions failing to implement the remedial action set out by Mkwabane. Arti Mtangana joins us live from Parliament for more on this. Arti, good afternoon to you. This sounds like very interesting testimony. Yes, this is the second witness to come out in defense of advocate Musisiwe Mkwebane in the office of the public protector. Yesterday you might have had Mr. Vusi Mashangu, a former CEO in the office of the public protector. And today we're hearing from a senior manager who directly reports to the uh, CEO, the incumbent in the office of the public protector. And he has hailed advocate Mkwebane, whom he has known since university days. That's how he put it before the section. 194 committee. Now, just to quickly go on to the important issues that they were dealing with, of course, they had to ask him as members of parliament about the quality of reports during Advocate Musiswe Mkwebane's tenure versus the time that uh, um, Tulima Tunsela was the public protector of South Africa. And Kevin Milham from the Democratic Alliance asked him whether he views the reports that have constantly gone on review, that whether that is a reflection of the decline in the quality of the reports, whether it comes from the issue of quality assurance, which Mr. Debele says he was not directly involved in, but his response was that, well, if we were to then assess Mkwebane's uh, reports, then they'd have to look at the good and the bad, and that the amount of reviews that kept on piling in the office came right at the back of that Nkandla judgment, which found that the remedial actions that come out from these reports reports are actually binding and he says that it's the failure of institutions and individuals, their failure for implementing these remedial actions that has led many others to take these reports on review uh, before the court. So let's listen to that exchange between the DA's Kevin Malham and the witness Mr. Tebele. Do you stand by the statement that the quality of reports noting that there are factual errors and that there are legal errors in the reports, did not decline under Advocate Mkwabani. Uh, Honorable Member, uh, in a way you are trying to put me in a corner, but I'm going to respond. You, you can't talk about one report and you would want me to make a statement that the quality of reports declined. How many reports uh, did the courts talk about? And then how many reports are still in good standing? That is all what I'm asking. For me to give an accurate answer without looking at one report, I would need to check how many reports are still in good standing and how many reports have been set aside by the courts a testimony in Parliament bringing an end to that report by Artie Mtangana. Artie, thanks very much indeed.